Coffee here. Coffee to go. Celsius for two or three in the morning when I really need it. Why can't I just be a patient person? I've been having this obsession with fruit lately. I got a pineapple, got a cantaloupe, got a papaya. Get too eager to eat it. Just cut it right on open. It's first of all, not ripe yet. Second of all, it tastes like crap. But now I have to eat it because I don't want to waste it. And it's also 11 o'clock at night. I mean, I need to go to bed. Also, I am the same color as this papaya right now because about a spray tan which in retrospect probably wasn't my smartest move because i went to a spa earlier today and got a facial and so my pores are all opened up and now the spray tan juices are probably seeping into my organs anyways hi how are you guys <laughs> i just finished cooking meal prepping for the next three shifts that i have in the hospital and the ER that I'm going to be bringing you guys along for. So welcome to my life as a new grad or registered nurse in the emergency department. I felt like today was important and pertinent to bring you guys along for because the day before a three shift stretch is like a really important day to first of all get your crap together but also relax and just mentally prepare for the next three nights of absolute chaos and really not a whole lot of time for yourself. Granted, you can make time for yourself even if it's just five or 10 minutes and I am slowly learning that and it's just so important. I've kind of taken it upon myself that when I take Cameron on a walk before each and every shift, it's actually my time. Well, it's his time too, but it's my time to just be present in the moment, kind of relax, listen to a podcast, listen to some music, or just literally listen to the birds singing because of spring. And that way I can enter my shift with kind of a more clear mind, a um, more positive mind as well. Anyways, I need to split all this up in containers for meals. I'll show you guys what I made. Um, because I work tomorrow, obviously, and then the next two nights after that. But I don't work a night shift tomorrow. I'm actually scheduled. Why am I eating this? <laughs> I was like, some pieces of it are really good. I don't know. Anyways, I don't work a night shift. I work a mid shift. And I think this is more common in the ER. I don't know any other department that does this, but we have regular like night and day shifts but then we also have mid shifts so you have your typical you know seven to seven during the day and then like seven to seven at night and then we have staff that comes in at nine at 11 and at two and so i'm actually working at 11 tomorrow i'll be working from 11 to 11 30 which i totally like that shift it's busy though and then the next two nights i work night shift and that's kind of just what i was scheduled when i got hired I got hired on as variable, which is something that I didn't fully understand. I was just so eager and so happy to get a job in the ER. But basically what that means is that 
they can kind of just mold you to however they want you on the schedule they can kind of put me wherever they want which i'm not complaining because i've requested a ton of time off this summer and i've gotten almost all of it actually so i will work whatever with that being said it is already 11 o'clock tonight and i also have a workout class scheduled about six in the morning so i need to go to bed now which is totally not going to happen also i got a facial today like i said earlier and i got something done for the first time which now i feel like i'm going to be obsessed with and it's so unfortunate because it just adds to another thing that i will be spending money on either monthly or every other month and that is dermaplaning so basically they get like a little razor and just shave all the baby hairs that you know are already on your face but trust me you got a lot more than you think and wow my face feels just like i feel like a new woman so i loved that it was so relaxing so nice i think i want to take it upon myself to treat myself to like a spa day every other month i think that that's totally doable and deserved it was so nice so relaxing so peaceful and this is just your reminder that you deserve that as well you deserve to take care of yourself too whether that be going to a spa taking a bubble bath watching the sunset painting do what you gotta do for your mental sanity especially when you're in this profession okay let me show you guys what i make study go to bed we've got some lovely chicken here with a little bit of burnt crisps up on there whatever and then some brussels sprouts and what is that <laughs> oh sweet potato good old sweet potatoes and then just some brown rice right here i'm going to put these in containers for the next three nights so i don't have to worry about it i can just grab it straight from my fridge and then pack the little snacks and drinks that i want super easy It is so early. 5.38 right now. I need to actually go. I have a class at 6 a.m. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. I think I do it early purposefully because then I can't like cancel or chicken out of it because I don't give myself enough time to like think about it. I just have to go and do it. So that's what we're doing. My legs are jello, and honestly, I think I just sweated all of my spray tan off. Hello, I am in such a good mood right now, and I attribute that to going to that class at the butt crack of dawn anyways i'm finishing up getting ready for work it is 9 36 i need to head out soon i have on my figs a long sleeve top that's super comfortable because it's gloomy outside and then i have on some high-waisted joggers <laughs> i'll show you guys my outfit when i get to work it's very comfortable and cozy and then I also think I'm going to bring this guy along just a little oh, maybe not inside out you know <sighs> a little puffer cute 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 before I head out I want to do some last minute final touches and that is my jewelry I am so excited to share with you guys a little package I received from a company I have talked about numerous times before called Anna Luisa. They are a wonderful jewelry company that I've been working with for, I want to say two years now. Most of the jewelry that I wear is from them, specifically my gold pieces, but I always have on a necklace and then I always get asked about my earrings. Their jewelry doesn't tarnish. It's amazing. I sweat, shower, sleep in them, never take them off. I couldn't ask for more. I'm going to switch out my third hoop in my ear. I just have a basic gold hoop in them. So we're going to take them out. Also with Mother's Day coming up, 
this is a perfect gift for any of the moms in your life or special women in your life that love jewelry oh my gosh can i get this out of my ear there we go um because i have a 20 percent discount code i get to share with you guys so let me show you guys what i got and then i'll decide mm, i think i already know which one i want to put in my third piercing so i got these cute baby gold hoops i love earrings i'm an earrings girl and then these cute gold can i show you guys better has this like a really beautiful pattern on them also kind of little dangly hoops i love these these will be perfect for summer concerts all the things and then these cutie little guys they have a little gemstone in them they're little huggies and this is what i've decided on to put in my third hoop so we're gonna put those in and then we will be all ready for work all three of my earrings right here are all from anna luisa <laughs> i feel like they are so cute i am obsessed and they just make me feel more confident at work and just confident in everyday life you know what i mean that's really what it's all about another reason why i love their jewelry and think their pieces are the perfect gift giving item is because the packaging that they come in it's these elegant little linen pouches that every jewelry piece comes in they can be reused obviously and i think it just adds that like perfect final touch so cute again i have that 20 percent discount code for you guys everything will be linked down below in my description box for you guys to check out specifically at the pieces i showed you in this video as well my discount code is sierra lynn 20 thank you so much anna luisa for sending me these pieces and for sponsoring this video now it is time to get going i need to take camper to my parents house because they watch him during my 12 hour shifts and then we will head to work going to manifest that it's going to be a really really great day smooth sailing from here fingers crossed did it ah i had such a great night oh my gosh sorry it's pretty stinking dark up in here well that's also because it's almost midnight tonight i had such a great shift worked with all my favorite people it went by really fast because i was really busy and i am really exhausted now so i'm gonna go pick up camper take maybe a nice little bubble bath since i don't work until tomorrow night so i actually have like you know a decent amount of time off in between this shift and tomorrow night's shift i wish i had a cool story to share with you guys but i think the biggest takeaway from today is that i was just like having this out of body experience watching myself like go through the motions of doing the things that i'm doing as a nurse like giving these medications doing these assessments just triaging patients and just proud of how far i've come in such a short period of time do not underestimate the power of time and the power of patient experience that is so crucial and vital and becoming confident in yourself and in your abilities and with your patients knowing that you can provide the utmost care for them that you can do it I promise you so I'm just grateful and happy for how far I've come and how much further I have to go I love this profession that allows me to continue learning and pushing myself and yeah I'm just just happy happy to be right here right now now I need to go get campy Good morning, guys. Look at this little dog toy. 
<laughs> it's a white claw. And then we got a little bud light over here. <laughs> Just in time for summer. Good morning, baby. Oh, happy. I am currently dead on the inside. <sighs> Went to a workout class just now started at 12 so it is one o'clock i slept in until um about 10 30. got up and here we are i have work oh i need to turn the air on oh, that was good. i have work tonight from 6.45 to 7.15 in the morning. It's gonna be a good shift. It's technically my Wednesday. So my middle of my three shifts. I'm exhausted, but it feels so good. <laughs> I've been so sore when I've gone to work sometimes after these classes that I literally am like walking with a limp. But hey, that means we're making progress, guys. Just got to work. You guys, this is definitely not my proudest moment. Um, I just got Taco Bell. I couldn't help myself. I'm so tired, but I was craving it. I'm also so hungry. And so I'm gonna have two bean burritos. Sue me. I am so incredibly tired. Can you tell? I need to take a shower and I need to eat this and I feel guilty for getting it but also like gotta do what you gotta do. I will chat with you guys when I wake up in a couple of hours um, about my day because I'm too tired and to be honest I felt like it was dangerous for me to be driving on the road. I need to I need to figure something out to help me be present and more awake when I'm driving because sometimes I literally have to roll the window down and stick my head out of it just to get the cold air to like help me wake myself up and honestly it doesn't help a whole lot I gotta figure something out oh my goodness but baby boy is home did he miss me because I missed him I missed you so much I really did I love you are you hungry Kipper's hungry for some breakfast too. I kind of look like I'm bald right now. <laughs> By my third shift, my hair typically usually goes up, if not already up from my previous shifts because it is dirty. I don't have the time or just the drive to do my hair. So that's where we're at right now. I did not get much sleep because at like nine in the morning, I woke up because I typically sleep with a fan on. I have to have that white noise background. And I woke up because the fan turned off. And so I was like, what the heck? Did it break on me? So I got up and I was messing around with it and it wasn't turning on. And then I was like looking around my whole house and the electricity was out. And then I was like, you know, half asleep, half awake, thinking that I didn't pay my power bill. So then I start freaking out. I go on my phone and I look to see if I pay my power bill, which I did because it's an automatic payment out of my bank. And then I was like, what the hell? And um, I realized that the power went out in my whole apartment building. So that was fun. Um, tried to go back to sleep, kind of went back to sleep. And then at 
30 the doorbell rang and somebody knocked at my door because i got a package camper started barking i woke up and then i've kind of been awake since then so i really didn't get much sleep which is um, quite a bummer because i was so so exhausted so we have coffee here coffee to go celsius for two or three in the morning when i really need it hopefully that gets me through the shift this is so weird too because i have never ever ever been a caffeine person my entire life like i used to work at a coffee shop from like the ages of 18 to 24 okay a big portion of my life and i didn't drink coffee you can ask anybody when people would drive through and ask for a recommendation of coffee i would just be honest with them and tell them i don't drink coffee but i can tell you like what the most popular beverages are so this is just like out of the ordinary for me but i need this to survive <laughs> night shift that's kind of where i'm at right now i don't have any other options at this point anyways i need to finish this coffee and then we need to go to shift three out of three it's my friday and then tomorrow i'm getting together with my family so it should be fun i'm gonna pack my lunch yesterday was really 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 busy and i think what makes some days in the er busier than others is when you have like a really high turnover rate where you're seeing a high volume of patients and you're discharging them it's just like a constant in and out so like you have a patient you room them you do a full assessment you do whatever exams that the provider puts in so starting an iv um getting a urine sample getting blood work getting x-rays imaging all the things your initial assessment giving medications this or that and then they get discharged and you have to do all the discharge things and then you get another patient and the scary thing is is you you kind of just like never know what's going to happen like you could have a patient that could seem semi-healthy and not in distress but you have no idea what the imaging is going to come back as or what their labs are going to come back as you just never really know anyways yesterday was one of those days where a ton of people were getting discharged so it was just a constant turnover, which is just really busy because you're constantly seeing patients, discharging them out, seeing more, getting ambulance arrivals. And it was just really stinking busy. And then I had something interesting happen that I want to share with you guys, per usual. Just as a reminder to always question what and why you are doing something. Um, at my hospital, we have a heparin infusion protocol that we have to follow. Sorry, my camera died in the middle of me talking again. Anyways, as I was saying, we have a heparin infusion protocol that we follow, and that's because when we start a heparin infusion on a patient, mm, that's a big deal. It is a dual sign-off, like two RN sign-off before it's administered to a patient. So I had a patient have a heparin infusion ordered. I printed off the protocol like I always do and then I keep it in the patient's room. I then do the math myself to make sure it's cohesive with the dosage that will be administered and that way I can show the other nurse, this is what I got, this is what the computer says, the MAR, um, and this is what we will be giving the patient. It's based on kilograms, their weight. I started this heparin infusion and it's just like, it's a big process. You give an initial bolus and then you have to put it on a pump. And like I said, it's a two RN sign off and then nothing is compatible with it. And it's also a life-saving drug that should never be stopped. So even when they get up to go use the restroom if they need to, like you keep that infusion going, you put it on um, like a pump that can be rolled with them if they're ambulatory. So with that being said, I have to start another line because this patient is also going to need other IV medications and I can't just stop the heparin infusion, give them their medications and then start it up again. It's continuous. So I started another line on this patient, which obviously nobody wants or likes and I hate having to do that. I explained everything to this patient. The ER doctor explained everything to this patient. We get it started and then 45 minutes later, I see it's discontinued. And I'm like, what the heck? I've never had that happen before. The hospitalist discontinued it. So when you come into the hospital, you are initially seen by an ER doctor. And then once you're admitted, the hospitalist, which will be your doctor now that you're admitted, officially takes over. The heparin infusion was started because this patient's troponin 
um, was trending upwards. So we did it on the cardiac protocol. However, this patient's hemoglobin and hematocrit was trending downwards, indicating that there was a potential GI bleed because the patient has a history of them. The hospitals talked to me of why it was discontinued because this patient has a bleed and now we're giving them heparin and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even think to question it. And I'm not like beating myself up over it because I'm learning, I'm still in my first year of nursing, but I was just really focused on the tasks that I needed to do that I didn't really sit and question it and reevaluate my patient's status, their labs, how they're doing, why they're being admitted. Because you as a nurse are the advocate for your patient, meaning you need to be able to have the strength and confidence to question a doctor and ask them, well, why are we doing this if you don't understand it? Or give them a suggestion because I feel like a lot of them are really open to hearing what we have to say and we forget that because in the ER we work really closely together with them. And so yeah, that was a good learning experience and it it could have been, you know, detrimental to the patient. Question everything you do. <laughs> Again, these are people's lives in our hand. Anyways, shoot, I need to go. Okay, um, I have my Celsius in here. I'll show you guys what I'm bringing. A little Olipop for my sweet tooth craving. I have a strawberry yogurt. And then this is just the food I made earlier this week. So it's chicken, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato and rice, which honestly I should not be heating up Brussels sprouts in the break room. Sorry to my coworkers. <laughs> Oatmeal, trail mix, chomps beef stick, coffee I already showed you guys. I need to chug this. Mm. So I need to put on my jacket and we need to head out. Oh my gosh. I need to go, but I want to show you guys something that I received. I got an Amazon package of some new trauma shears. I've shown you guys scissors that I use at work, but they suck. They're like cheap scissors from Amazon for $10. I think they're fine if you're starting out, but these babies, I'll have them linked down below and in my Amazon storefront. They clip on to your pocket, fold up to a nice size. Voila! These are so cute too. They're orange, my favorite color, and they match my nails. Okay, I need to get the heck out of here. Got my co-pilot right here. I actually got off work really early yesterday. Camper is extremely eager to get out of my car because I'm at my sister's house and his brother is here. But anyways, I'm gonna fill you guys in on what happened. Um, we were really, really slow yesterday. Um, so initially when I got to work, I only had one patient and I kind of closed out that area, that pod, um, and discharged that patient home, which was actually a really incredibly sad because we discharged them home on hospice. I feel like that's one of the more common and harder experiences that I have in the ER is patients with cancer, patients finding out that they have cancer in the ER. It seems like the most inappropriate place to find that out. And I didn't even know that you could find out you had cancer there. And I've seen people find that out multiple times and it's just heartbreaking and anyways so that was really sad so I discharged that patient home closed that area and then I helped with breaks so all of our first 15 minute breaks within the whole department and then after that it was just really really slow I was wandering being like resource and helping out my co-workers and I let my charge nurse know that if she was going to send home anybody early I volunteer just because I only had one day off in between another three night stretch of work it's just kind of how my schedule fell so I was happy to have some extra time off I got off at 11 o'clock last night and then I was able to use PTO paid time off for the remainder of my shift picked up camper and went to bed at about 1 and slept in till about 11 this morning so I got 10 hours of sleep which was much needed and perfect because now I'm at my sister's um, it's Sunday and my whole family's here and we're all just getting together for like a game night for food just to spend time together so I feel refreshed um, excited for the day it's gonna be a good day and yeah, Camper is excited to see his brother. I know you want to get out of the car. 
Let's go. Whites to play. For what? This is the only pool table in which you can move the table how you want it. <laughs> well, any other table you just walk around at. You, what the, what'd you make in? I thought it was uh, eight. It looked like it was in blue. <laughs> yeah. Prison rules, prison rules. Camper and I just got home. I had a lovely time with my family and I also received something so so incredibly special in the mail that I wanted to share with you guys simply as a reminder that you can and you will get to exactly where you want to be and also time is going to pass regardless of what you do so you might as well do what you want to do for your future self you got this um this is just kind of wild to read so this is a piece of mail from my nursing school this is a letter i wrote myself april 27th 2022 i specifically remember this day they made us sit in one of our classes in our lecture classes and made us write these letters to our future selves and this was at the very end of nursing school and this was just like the last thing that any of us wanted to do at the time like we just wanted to get through nursing school we just wanted to be registered nurses this just it seemed silly at the time but i am so grateful and appreciative that they had us do this because that's just so special i'm gonna read it to you guys i kept it pretty short and sweet that's for sure because i was wanting to get out of the class i said hi I'm currently sitting in one of my last lecture classes in nursing school. Right now, I've applied for two jobs and I'm hoping to get hired in the ED, my favorite floor thus far. I actually have a second interview tomorrow. Marigold is due this July and Juniper is due this September. I'm so, so excited. I hope by this time next year, I'll be financially independent with success of my Etsy shop I hope I'm working in a positive environment and living somewhere I love with Camper. I have a good feeling about this upcoming year and I'm ready to embrace it with open arms. Remember to slow down as mom would say and take a breath. There will always be so much to look forward to but life is happening right now. Shout out to PD for helping me survive nursing school. That's just crazy. It brings me right back to that moment and honestly makes me emotional like I am so so like happy to be where I'm at right now but also so happy for everything that I went through to get where I'm at right now and then so happy for everything that is to come life is special and sacred and there are ebbs and flows. Things do not go as planned, that is for sure, but everything somehow always finds a way to work out perfectly and better than you can honestly ever imagine. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and end this vlog of me working three shifts in a row, kind of, as a new grad, a registered nurse in the emergency department. Also, do not forget to check out Ana Luisa, their website, all of their beautiful jewelry items. They have rings, necklaces, bracelets, anything you can imagine. I have that discount code you guys can use as well. It is Sierra Lynn 20 for 20% off and everything will be linked down below in my description box. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!